Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today you guys are going to be cooking dinner with me. I'm going to be making a pan fried chicken garlic tortellini with a basil butter sauce and I'm going to make some red lobster biscuits. It's going to be a quick 30 minute meal. I've had a really busy day today, on the go, on the move, had a fashion show. So I wanted to eat well, you know, not eat fast food, so I had to make something quick. If you guys would like to see what I'm going to be cooking today, keep watching. And while you're at it, click that subscribe button, give me some thumbs up, and let's jump right into this video. Alright guys, so I'm going to start off by making my red lobster biscuits. And this is just a box that I got from my local grocery store. I actually found them in Publix. They were over in the seafood section of the grocery store near the dry goods. And the box pretty much comes with all of your dry ingredients that you need. The only thing that you'll need in addition to that is a little bit of water. You're going to need some sharp cheddar cheese shreds and you're going to need some butter. And you want to be careful not to over mix your biscuits because if you over mix them then they'll wind up getting too tough and they won't have that light fluffy texture that you want from these biscuits. Alright you guys, so the next thing I'm going to be starting on is the pasta and you're going to need a large skillet and some more butter and for the pasta I'm going to be using the Butoni Chicken and Roasted Garlic Totalini and I also found this in my local Publix, it was in the refrigerator section near the cheese products. I'm going to start off by putting about a tablespoon of butter in my pan and going ahead and letting that melt down. Once that butter melts down, I'm going to go ahead and add that pasta right into that pan and start to toast it up and let it brown up a little bit. Once it gets brown, I'm going to add about one third a cup of water in there and I'm going to cover it with foil and let the pasta steam until it's cooked to the appropriate temperature.
now that the water has all absorbed into my pasta and my pasta has reached the consistency that I would like which is usually an al dente and the inside of the tortellini has reached the designated temperature I'm going to go ahead and add in some pesto and some minced garlic which I also found at Publix they were both in the produce section and it just kind of helps to cut down on the time of making your own pesto and mincing your own garlic because both of those things can be kind of time consuming and they can make a big mess so it's not something that I like to do when I'm trying to make a quick dinner. Now I'm going to add a little bit more Parmesan cheese, a little more pesto, and a little bit more butter just to make sure that my sauce can coat all of my pasta. And now I'm going to go ahead and melt down some butter and add in that package of seasoning from the Red Lobster Biscuits and brush it over the top of the biscuits. And last but not least, I'm going to make me some spinach and some kale. I'm just going to mix the two together in a small saute pan, add in a little bit of water, a little bit of butter, and of course some garlic. If you guys haven't noticed, I absolutely love garlic. I think it takes everything to the next level. <laughs> and I'm also going to add in some complete seasoning, some lemon pepper, and a little bit of lemon juice. And I'm just going to let that saute in just until the vegetables are warm. And then we're going to plate. So that's it. Thank you guys for watching my video. If you like what you saw here, click the subscribe button down below. Give me some thumbs up. And for the full recipe details, go ahead and check out that description box down below. Peace, love, and light. Bye.